artist in the Philippines. Neil Pasilan. Neil Pasilan is a Bacolod-born artist from a family of craft craftsmen and boat builders. He is a self-taught visual artist who displayed creativity as a child. He is currently based in Manila and he has become known for his painting that hold multiple layers using different mediums to expose new forms. And my perspective about his artwork is on how he uses layers to create a new forms because for me that is very creative. Next, Pasita Abad. Pasita Abad was an Ibatan and Philippine American painter. She was born in Basco, Batanes, a small island in the northernmost part of the Philippines. Pasita Abad is renowned for her eccentric use of color in her paintings. Some other unique features of her painting included underwater scenes along with the wild animals and tropical flowers. My perspective about her artworks is how she is very eccentric in colors because she can manage to highlight the constant changes and also her paintings are the reflection of her travels around the world. Ang Kiwok Ang Kiwok was a Filipino painter of Chinese descent and was a national artist for visual arts. Ang Kiwok is most famous for his exp expressive artwork almost Almost all his paintings have one thing in common, an extremely disturbing subject matter with a dynamic profile. Uh, my perspective about his artwork is about how he used arts to portray the dull and bleak reality of life. Hernando Ocampo, a self-taught Self-taught artist Hernando Ruiz Ocampo major, majorly followed modernist tradition throughout his career. My perspective about his artwork is how he create his art through the modern tradition to contain the traditions of artworks. And last, Napoleon Abueba, one of the most famous Filipino sculptures. Napoleon Veloso Abueba was one of the youngest recipients of National Artist for Sculpture title in the year of 1976. My perspective is that about his work is that how he makes sculpture using marble, bronze, iron, stainless steel, hardwood, cement, adobe, coral, and alabaster. That's all. Thank you. Victorio Edades. Victorio Edades was a revolutionary artist who was the leader of the 13 Moderns, a group of artists who believed and promoted modernism in artwork. A traveling exhibition from the New York Amori Hall was that what inspired Edades to follow the appreciate modern art. My perspective about his artwork is that he is very knowledgeable about modern art and his arts are all good. This is are his famous artworks. Next, Vicente Manansala. Vicente Manansala was a prodi prodigious artist who received a six month grant from UNESCO and was invited to study the Ecole des Box Arts in Quebec, Canada. He is most commonly known for his cubist paintings, prints, and illustrations. My perspective about his artworks is that about his cubic arts that mesmerize my eyes to believe that any shape can be art and can be used in arts. Next is Benedicto Cabrera. Benedicto Benedicto Cabrera is regarded as the best-selling painter of his generation of art, Filipino artists. He was introduced to art by his elder brother Salvador, who was a, also an established painter. About his artworks, he focuses on movement and form when creating his artworks. Guillermo Tolentino Guillermo Tolentino is the most famous for his work, the Bonifacio Monument, which became the symbol of the freedom struggle of the Philippines. 
this is our his famous artworks the monument of Bonifacio and Pax statue Juan Luna Juan Luna de San Pedro in Novicio Ancheta who was more commonly known as Juan Luna is regarded as one of the first international renowned Philippine artists along with being an artist he was also widely known political activist of the Philippine revolution of the late 19th century his artworks are all about impressionism that's all thank you